Nice read. Really good read. Waited for that. That's why I should have probably went down and took care of my safety on that. Great read. Really caught me off guard. Hey, this is uh, Prometheus doing another full game breakdown. I'm rolling against the. I'm rolling with the uh, Dallas Cowboys. My opponent Miller 5208 is rolling with the Baltimore Ravens. Let's see how this game works out. I'm going to be using the Jimmy Johnson playbook, uh, ace formation, uh, split, and then uh, shotgun split. I've got a, a few plays that have broken down, and I know how to audible into some other plays, so we'll see how that works out. My last game with the Cowboys did not work out well for, for, well for me. Monday morning quarterback, I was looking at the plays, and my, my opponent was using a lot of underneath coverage. It was throwing, me, uh, throwing off my route, so hopefully I'll be able to bounce back in this game and pick up a win. All right, so I was able to go ahead and tackle my opponent down on the 17-yard line. I'm just going to come out a base uh, defense. Going to go with, uh, let's see here, uh, cover three buzz. And he goes with a nice little run right there, picks up a few yards on that. Starts with an 0-1 trap. And I think he was trying to pass up top and actually in this particular situation, what would stick? Uh, give him all the time in the world to actually go ahead and make that play. I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit him with a blitz right here. Nice play by his, def uh, by his wide receiver. Didn't was able to get my, my blitz set up because of the way. And it's going to use an up-tempo pacing. And this game is extremely laggy right now. And he got some pretty good running out of that. I'm going to do the pinch of blood. And actually, I'm going to do QB contain on this. A nice pickup and first down right there. Nice read. Really good read. Waited for that. That's why I should have probably went down and took care of my safety on that. Great read. Really caught me off guard. I was looking for the crossing routes underneath and he actually got me. Good, good play. All right, so able to get the ball up to the 23-yard line. The game is somewhat laggy right now. Uh, see how that affects the gameplay. Uh, I'm going to go with my base play, which is going to be... We're going to start off with a halfback misdirection motion. I'm going to flip the play, do the motion. There you go. Almost got the block he was looking for. He just came off the edge. All right, so he went into Sam Buck 1. So he was in man coverage. Got to remember that. This time I'm going to go into Z spot. Now he's off coverage. Defenders are off. Able to pick up pretty easy yards right there. And Bryant has a bowling ball pin for me. Going to go into a dive pick up the first down there you go gonna do the misdirection off to the left again 
going to flip the play. I've got a defensive back on the left-hand side. That's another defender i got to worry about. And unable to just get off the edge. Bad running by me. I just need to lap running more. Z spot off to the left-hand side. Oh, he's got his guys off a little bit. Safety's coming down. And that Z spot is just going to be opened up every time. All right, so he was in a cover two, uh, cover four, uh, show two. All right, going to the second quarter here. Uh, opponent is up by seven points, had a nice little drive. I'm going to go into dual halfback. And in my slot position, I'm going to put Witten. And I'm going to go with my base play, which is the Texas plot. Uh, slot pivot. I've got the hitch and I've got the, the angle route. And I threw an interception as defender came down. <sighs> God, I'm just making bad mistakes. Alright, so I got a flag on that play, didn't have my defense set up correctly. And a good play, he picked up the right guy. And he hit me with a hitch route in the end zone to pick up an easy first down. Went into man coverage and he got me. So just as quickly as I uh, uh, gave up the interception, once again he scores. So this is looking a lot like my last game uh, with the Cowboys going down by two scores real quick against my opponent. So I need to settle down on offense here. Uh, basically just a bad read by me. Um, on offense. The game is a little bit laggy, but that really is not is not really factoring too much into this at all. I'm going to stay back with the ace again. I was moving the ball pretty effectively against them. I'm going to go with the halfback in this direction as my base play. And unable to go ahead and shed that blocker. I think that's Suggs over there. You went into cover three. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. If I see uh, zone coverage, I'm going to go ahead and put a whip route with Escobar over the left-hand side. Be able to go ahead and take the quick check down on that. I'm going to go back into the split again. I'm going to go back to my base play, which is Texas slot pivot. And easy first down with the Witten. Let's see what kind of coverage you want it to. He went back into a cover through Sky. All right, so I'm going to go back into single back. And this time I'm going to try doing a running play zone weak. And there was a blocking I was looking for. That's it. That's it. The finally a big play I was looking for. Nice blocking right up the middle. That was a huge play right there for me. Now I'll take this down. He's going to let me run into the end zone. So I'm going to absorb some of this guy's time. So you went with an engage eight on that. stay with the halfback zone able to pick up some pretty easy yards with that he's got that other defender over there and he gave me up an easy touchdown right there I got to make sure I make a stop on defense but 
Got to stay with the running game, and the zone, halfback zone weak is actually giving me the running game I'm looking for, so. Gonna have to be my go-to running game. All right, so a minute and 45 seconds, or 40, uh, 54 seconds left. Got him on the 19-yard line. He's been, in a, been able to effect, effectively move the ball against me. I'm going to stay in the 43, uh, 34 uh, under. Uh, I'm going to have a base play, which is going to be, uh, let's see here, the scrape. And because I'm not using my, my safety, that's why he gave up a big run like that. <clears throat> Bad defense. Need to get another defender in the box. Probably need to go with that uh, free safety. Got him on a blitz. Got him on the edge blitz right there. So that's a huge play right there. It's going to put him in a passing situation. Try to come back to that Y shallow zone. Oh, defender was in the area, did not make a play in that ball. There you go. That should have been a pick off. Defender was in the area. He threw right in the coverage. There you go. Hey, huge play right there. Gave me an opportunity. Fagged him up on defense. I'd say I was going to let him go ahead and attack me uh, with... Uh, with Falco, Falco, you can go ahead and beat me on the ground with Falco all you want. Um, you're not going to beat me in the air. So, fag defense worked for me in that situation. <laughs> there you go. Huge play. Huge play by Mar Marco Mori right there. Big shift in, in, in yardage right there. <laughs> Go ahead and take a timeout right there. Try to spin move a little bit prematurely. There was a slight little lag in that play, uh, but I'll keep taking it. This guy cannot stop my running game right now. I'm just killing him with this halfback zone. <laughs> All right, so I got a couple plays right here in the end zone. You wanted the QB contained, still unable to go ahead and stop my running game. I'm going to hit him with a Z spot. There you go, touchdown right there. Waited for the crossing pattern, went into man coverage, uh, and probably went in with the contain right there. Able to go ahead and get a, a, a easy touchdown to, go, to tie this game up. All right, so 14 seconds left, can't give up a big play. Gonna stay in corners, uh, just gonna do just a base uh, cover four. He got single coverage out there. This actually worked out pretty well for him. So he actually did come up with the ball with that Hail Mary, but it didn't mean anything right there. 
All right, so getting the ball back in the second half, uh, I was down by 14 points, able to rally uh, a quick couple scores against my opponent. Uh, he struggled against stopping my run, so I'm going to keep abusing him with that off tackle if he can't stop it. Game's getting a little bit laggy right here. Kind of fake motion. And just run right up the gut. So running up the middle with, with Murray, uh, it's just a beast of a team. Now he's going into cover two. Let's see if he keeps staying with that. And yeah, Murray's just a pinball right now, just uh, bouncing off his defenders. He went into cover one won't pull. And the backside, I'm going to put... with a hitch route right there so he's got to stop that run and that's actually opening up everything for me to be able to pick up some pretty monster yards even with a cover one hole again probably looking for some kind of an answer to stop the run oh defender came right off the line came off the block able to go ahead and stop me in the middle so now he wants it with a cover three cloud as his base play. I do the Z spot again. He's got off coverage. Presses. And there you go. Easy yards right there with that Z spot. Easy, easy reads. I'm going to come out of the slot pivot. I'm going to flip the play. And nice. Ah, drop pass by Dunbar. That should have been a first down. Got to go for it in this situation. He's not going to give me the luxury of not going for it. Uh, he looks like he's he's been keen in on my split back formation. So let's go ahead and see if I can hit him with an angle route of another formation. I'm going to do the full back angle. And I've got an out route that might be open with Williams. That's open. There you go. Big play by Williams. That out route was open. Looked like off coverage and it was a cover one hole, so I got that. So that's a huge play right there and actually picked up some pretty good yards and got him something to think about else uh, against my offense. So I'm going to go back to the halfback zone. I'm going to flip it to the weak side, which I don't have to do that. I'm just going to go and snap the ball. And, oh, the defender just came right off the ball right there, whoever that was. Uh, the hole, he's getting a hole with the hole right there. I'm going to go back to Z spot. And that was just a bad pass. Uh, right read, bad pass, completely bad pass by uh, Romo right there. All right, so now I need to go into my gun formation. I'm um, going to go ahead and take my best wide receiver and put him in the slot. And I'm going to go with, uh, with the cross weak flood. Got off coverage. And just a bad play, bad pass once again by Romo. <sighs> right, so I'm going to go ahead and kick the field goal here. And I think I missed it. I missed it. It didn't get all of it. That's the only problem when you play against an opponent with a lag. Uh, you're, you're not going to get these kicks perfect uh, on a long kick. So good for him.
Got him on a blitz. Got him on edge blitz. And that did not work out for him at all as far as what he was trying to do. Went to an inside post and his reads were all screwed up on my, on my coverage. All right, I'm gonna hit him with a Mike Scrape press. I think he likes to run off to the right-hand side. Good read. Phenomenal read right there. That was the weakness of a defense and he hit me right. I don't know why my, def my defense was parting the red speed. I was actually going ahead and, and crushing down. Nice play selection is just going ahead and forcing me to defend the run. All right, so going into the fourth quarter, game is tied each. Uh, he's uh, been able to stop me. I missed a field goal, could have been up by more, uh, but unfortunately uh, he was able to go ahead and take advantage of that. And able to go ahead and shut him down against the running game right there. <sighs> He's going to have to go for it. It doesn't make sense for him to kick a field goal here. Good play. Good call. Phenomenal call right there to actually do a screenplay because I was going after him. Uh, he just hit me with the right play. Good call. Nice play right there. And I think it got him in a fourth and inches situation again. Sure did. Nice play right there to go ahead and get the first down. Crunch my line. That's the thing with the Dallas Cowboys offensive or defensive line. They don't, they don't have a lot of block shed, so they're not a phenomenal team uh, to stop the run. So he's going to try to work the clock against me right now. And now I think he's figuring out the math doesn't work in his favor. That hurt. Should have went into a crazy defense like that. That was stupid on my behalf. Should have went with my base defenses. He's going to basically milk me on the clock right here. So now he's just going to go ahead and run me out. He made the right plays, great play uh, by my opponent. Right calls, great play. Gotta go ahead and salvage whatever I can against my opponent. So he's, he's gonna be off roughly about by 20 seconds or so. All right, so fourth out situation, you work the clock down. Smart thing to do right here is to kick the field goal. And he's smart enough to run the clock down completely. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and push it back a little bit. 
I gotta, I gotta hand it to this guy. This guy is completely ice cold. Uh, he went, he didn't want to get me back on offense again. Uh, he got a couple breaks with some of my bad passes. I tried to win it. I tried to go ahead and do that gun split formation, but it essentially wasn't really that effective for me. So I had two bad passes, and it really is, is going to be the key to this game. And that's not a good way to start. So I got to pick up some monster yards right here. <sighs> and unable to get the ball off. I tried to throw the ball, and I wasn't able to do that. He went into some kind of his own coverage. Well, this guy beat me with clock management, and I know that sometimes people get frustrated by it, but he beat me by clock management. I had multiple opportunities to stop him on fourth down situations, and he actually got me. Uh, my offense was a little bit more efficient. I had one mistake that I paid for where the easy score against him, but I was able to go ahead and stop him. But three points, giving up three points against him, uh, missing a field goal with the lag, uh, that was huge. That was, a, that was the difference in the game because if he had to score a touchdown, it would have been a totally different situation opposed to uh, if he had to go ahead and kick the field goal. So uh, I got to hand it to my opponent. He outplayed me. Um, he did, you know, I had a couple bad breaks, uh, some bad passes uh, by Romo where the ball just wasn't released properly and I made the right reads. Um, but uh, he, he outplayed me because he beat me, he didn't get the ball back to me, he gave it back to me at 17, 17 seconds left, and he had mass, he was a master at the clock management. So uh, I want to give a, a big hand out to Miller5208, a great player. I hope you learn from the scheme. Definitely the A scheme is a good scheme. It's going to really keep your opponents uh, off kilter. Uh, I hope that you uh, learn from this gameplay and you picked up my strategies, and I do post my loss. And this is uh, the next, the second loss that I've had with the Cowboys, and it's frustrating to lose with the team. Um, I just struggle with the Cowboys, and I don't know why. So thanks again. I really appreciate it. Until next time.